to any of yours well when I made a video on these meters turns out I wired this on the wrong way I had phase neutral phase neutral that was incorrect it's actually phase neutral neutral phase it's stated in that terminal cover on this meter so yeah pay to double check your terminal cover when you wire these up the surprising thing was I thought the um, current going the wrong way to the low coil would have counted each other out with a voltage coil and it really wouldn't have spun but obviously not so that's something I've learned so I've corrected that corrected that problem so you don't want to run, run crossing the polarity and active and neutral is actually quite dangerous so it's a good thing yeah, the viewers picked up on that I just realised that so yeah been taken care of. Might try to do some electrical popping again. Back to the routine. This fuel pop I all topped here. I got, really got no use for it. When I did the oil top I didn't state which way the fuel flow was. So this side here is actually the intake. There's a lot, there's a lot of um, a cushion that sits on here, a fine filter. It goes in that way and comes out of here. So. I'm trying to pop these. I'm going to balance the variac and, uh, and put a heat stick on the bridge rectifier for safety. So don't pop the rectifier or overload my variac. So yeah, I'm going to first, I'm going to, this is actually out of a toaster. It's the um, circuit that controls the yeah, toasting settings, like yeah, had a dial, which uh, there was a um, variable resistor on here somewhere. Which was here, which went to a dial on the side of the toaster to control how brown your toast was. And a proper control circuit's all in here too, so yeah, it's basically how your toaster regulates and everything. Just got a little circuit board like this in it, and a council button, which triggers this um, magnetic core, pulls this up, and chips the um, switch to let your toast out. So, yeah, it's got a HCF5451BE chip. It is all to do just to regulate the power going to the heating elements of your toaster. Pretty simple. I'm going to desolder this coil here. Just hook it up to the variac and crank it up to the pops. I've got no use for it, so might as well. Okay, viewers, put the little coil off the toaster board. run AC through it so it pulses that little magnetic flap on that clip there. Oh right, well, zero. Let's plug in. Oh, is that it? Oh. Unplug safety first. Oh, quite hot. Yeah, those wires are very tiny. It's only a very low power consuming um, component. I think I did measure this, the power going to this. I measured it on a multimeter. It's about 67 volts going to it. So it uses a um, voltage drop of the, the toaster elements. Part way through that, this wires up yeah, and runs off that voltage. So that wasn't uh, very exciting. And the voltage drops even further. There's a 16 volt capacitor there. Let's pop this. Wow, this up, we've got the heatsink ready. Well, pop that ready to go. Then we add some zero. Oh, let's plug it in. No fun bearing, so it's going to be a little noisy. Got about 40 volts, I'm going to have to clamp that down before I go any further, so unplug safety first. I'm going to find a way to hold that down. Set of bar strips on the outlet, and a mic to hold it all down. Beautiful, that's like on anywhere. That there exit zero. Fifteen volts. Look at that! I'm back 
back of course. That was cool. I got to about 80 volts. But yeah, this is another project I'm working on at the moment. I'll do this in another video. So I'll lift lower. Damn, this thing's angry. I pissed it off. Didn't expect it to jump out like that though. Yeah, they comment out and exploded. Good thing it was all contained. It's another thing you'll be watch out for when you're blowing up these types of motors. Comment out of shoots and like bullets and if it hits you, it could do some serious harm, so. So yeah. As you can see here on the block, there's like a mount, well, there's supposed to be three of these. This third one snapped off. So it has to be. We're going to try and get this re welded somehow, or TIG welded. It's magnesium alloy, so I'm not really sure if that's possible. So it's actually done some damage to the vibrations. It's gone right off, um, off its mounts. So hopefully it's going to be an easy fix. Yeah. Solder melted off and everything. So that was one epic spin, uh, spinning top. <sighs> Better of shit more than that. Everything was contained. There we go. Bits of carnage in there. The brush is all disintegrated. There you go. Plastic. Come off now. Is a commentator itself. See how much wear was on that. It's about yeah, it's halfway down. So it was well used. This fuel pump it was never going to work properly again because it was noisy. So as I said, I had no use for it. Clipped my autopsy. Knew how it worked. Learned something and had a little fun with it as well. So let's see what else I can pop. Okay, the oils are gonna. I think that's a half watt. 228 ohm resistor, thereabouts, very absent zero. Let's see what this does. Smoke up, Jeff said a tolerance, guys, red. Arcs here. There you go. That's a metal film resistor. Unplug safety first. Oh, very hot, and you can see it spat some of its contents here. The metal there. There to cool. Let's try something else. Might have another one similar. Bit of tungsten light bulb filament. Came off of uh, one of those IXL heat pads from the bathroom. So let's see what that does. Very excellent. Zero. Very slowly, watch it degrade and fall apart. Unplug. Get a heat mat first. Always do that, because I don't want this floor to end up looking like, yeah, fake on the conduction carpet and all burnt up. <laughs> and there it is on zero. Heat mat is in place. Safety mat. Slide back in. Yeah. Once the air hits that fill hits that filament, disintegrates very quickly. Under a vacuum though, that would last it a hell of a lot longer. Yeah, uh, 2200K resistor. Same wattage as the last uh, same wattage rating as the last one. So, in. Forty volts. Yeah, five volts is close an arc. Unplug safety first. Very important. There you go. Just 
run around and learn. If something happens on the circuit, although some resistors may appear to be open, but visually they'll look okay, so pays a test them. Torn a little hole there, so I didn't expect the failure quite like that. There you go. Visually it looks fine, but yeah, it's bad. Fluorescent light starter. Let's see if that does look good. Yeah, yeah, it's on zero. It's a safety precaution. Plug in. Whoa. Bit of prep while I'm parking in there. There we go, it popped. Overcurrent. I am wearing safety glasses too, so that's an extra safety precaution. Unplug, safety first. There you go, there's a bit of a flash in there with the gas. And glue that hot, and there's a crack. There you can just see it's welded shut. That got hot. Yeah, it's got an open circuit. Thanks for watching.